Hi everyone. Uh, just a quick note about what I've been up to the last few days. I am in the process of finishing that cardinal, but I, I took a break from a little bit of everything and I just broke down and decided I think I'm going to look at a new monitor. Now I have a Wacom 22 HD that's taken very good care of me for quite a few years. I originally got it to start working with photographs to be able to use a pen versus a mouse and there was no comparison. Uh, and then quickly after that I started getting back into my freehand uh, but in a digital form this time. Now what I'm going to show you here is just what I threw together. Now this is just an option. This is a stand uh, for a, my monitor, but because I work the same way all the time, at a specific angle, a specific place, because I want my lighting to stay the same. So for that reason, this works well for me. Now if you want an arm, if you want an adjustable stand, that's fine. This is just an option. Now what I want to show you is just some of the uh, angles, different angles of view of a stand I threw together and I literally made it out of a 2x4. And the reason why I did that was I have plenty of woodworking equipment because I enjoy that very much also. But my point is, is I didn't know if it would work, so I just wanted to throw something together the least amount of time, the least amount of money in case it didn't work. So what I did was I wanted to use a 2x4, then that way I'm not going to be ripping any wood, uh, using expensive wood, uh, worrying about finishes, stains, everything else. I just wanted to put something together to see if it worked. So with a 2x4, then I just kept everything from the sizes of the 2x4 and pieces and tried to piece something together just by cross-cutting the pieces and that's it. And then no sanding, no nothing. And then what I did was hold it together with drywall screws just so that way I could easily back them out and rearrange something if I have to. So I just wanted to make it as interchangeable as possible, but I thought if I would get something put together, then no matter what monitor I use, I could use it for my next monitor. And that would be not depending on the brand name, the size, or anything, I could still use this particular stand. Now that I've been using it for a little while, it is working perfect for me. I have a little, little over $8, that's including tax, uh, in the 2x4, and that's it. So for that reason, uh, it's going to work really well. And then whatever monitor I get next, I'm sure it will fit right into it also. Now the way I designed it, I had a little bit of thought into that, but just to show you, we'll go into some pictures of different angles of view, and then we'll see and just briefly talk about it. And again, this is just an option. But if you have any ability uh, of as far as designing something for yourself, or especially if you have woodworking tools yourself, or even know somebody, they might be able to cut the blocks for you or put it together for you. But... Uh, I don't know what Wacom would say if they seen their 24-inch Pro monitor sitting on a 2x4 stand, but that very well may be what ends up the case. Uh, let's, without further ado, let's go into just looking at some of the photographs and just take a look and see what I did and how I did it, just to maybe give you some ideas that, that there are options, and if one of them works for you because of how you work, uh, then use it. it it's it it's only makes common sense to me. Let's take a look and see what the pictures look like. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have here. Uh, we'll just start off with the front view. Uh, just a quick note about these uh, photos. I just put it up against one of my old high-key backgrounds. Uh, this is just a 7x7. Seven seven. I used to make a lot of these and just splash different colors of paints, rag roll, drops. You can see the little drops of paint here and there. But when the colors are real close together, it made some really nice backgrounds that were very usable. But now what I did was I picked out a very light colored one because I wanted you to see the entire perimeter and the uh, stand itself really good to actually see what's going on uh, with it. And I stained it dark so some of the areas are a little bit darker and in shadowed. Uh, but I think we'll be okay as to just see what's going on because this thing is very basic. But for me now, I can already see it, it's working really well. Now, just with this view, uh, we'll just note a few things, and that is uh, this board right here. Uh, this one right here is the front of it, and this is one of the boards it'll rest on, and then this is the other end of the board it'll rest on. 
And what I did though was if you'll notice, this one is over on this side of this board, but then I also shifted it to this side of this board also. Instead of putting it over here, what that did was it gave me extra room of actually uh, just having plenty of room uh, to use my mouse. And, and, and what I did was make this high enough so when the actual monitor comes over, I actually offset a little bit. So when I bring it over to here, it, it could go up right up in here. And then a monitor will go up. And then it'll go up here. But even if the monitor is overhanging, I could still easily fit my hand and wrist underneath it. So I could easily work fairly close and have a, a fairly small working area, which is something I wanted. Now this board here, is only 12 inches long and what i did was i put one board this way and one board this way uh laid this one flat put this one up on edge and you'll see in the side views a couple other things going on here but i did it that way so what it did was it kept these two sides put together way in the back and what that did was let this whole front end completely open so no matter where my wires are coming out of any monitor I use, they usually come out in the middle cord towards the uh, bottom, that this way the wires could go out either way and I, they won't interfere with anything I constructed at all. So they'll be free to go any direction they need to go. And for me, I thought that was kind of important. And then offsetting these, I kind of really wanted to do that also. Then that gave me plenty of room uh, to use my uh, mouse uh, with my right hand, wrist, and even sometime a little bit of the arm. It easily fits underneath here and has plenty of room uh, that I could work in underneath it. Uh, let's move on to the uh, side view here. And now the side view, we could start getting into the angles. Now this, you can't see from the front view, I just 45 the backs just to give me a little wee bit of extra uh, support that instead of cutting it off right there, I gave myself a little bit of extra length uh, just so it's not uh, top heavy. And then here's the important angles. Now here's the two boards you could see that all I did was put three screws here and then three screws here. And that's the only thing that's holding these two sides together. And that's more than enough of six two and a half inch drywall screws. Now here's the board that they actually sits on. You can actually see where the monitor has been sitting right across here. But what I did though is now this is a nice 90 degree angle right here. This is 90. And what I did was if we do it in an architectural way, then this board coming down through here, then down through here, and it goes about right there. Then it goes about right here. And then up through here. This cut right here is 22 and a half. And what that is, is the exact angle that I wanted my monitor, because again, my Wacom stand stayed at the exact same angle all the time. So I was pretty confident that I could kind of make something semi-permanent uh, that would work. And I say semi-permanent because again, with all the screws, I could back any of these screws out and work on any of these pieces that if I wanted to make this distance right here longer or shorter then all I would have to do is either move the wood this way or that way and if I slide it out it's going to make it longer if I slide it back it's going to make it shorter but right now I'm pretty good shape where it's at but what I had to do though was since this one is cut at 22 and a half degrees then I had to cut this one at 67 and a half degrees to add up to my 90 right here and then this way, I had a nice angle. Now, keep in mind that the depth of the monitors, on average, of the ones I were looking at, that they're about two inches deep. So my two by fours are only an inch and a half. So I, if I wanted to put a board the whole way across the front, that, that would have uh, been like this, and then like this, and it would have been a board across the front, then what I would have had to have done was stack two of them on top of each other and I didn't really want that uh, because then I wouldn't be able to change too much anything there and it really wouldn't be, uh, how would you say, adjustable unless I actually took one of them off and then ripped it down, which would be pretty tough, that if it was sticking out too far and it was always bothering me as I was drawing. So this made it a lot more 
convertible, so to speak, or adjustable, that I can move this board in and out, and just by changing the location, taking these two screws out, and then just either moving it uh, back or moving it forward, I can uh, adjust the length of this piece right here that's hanging out that actually holds it uh, pretty easily. Uh, but with that said, uh, this angle here, I just cut this just for cosmetics because uh, I didn't need the whole uh, two by four going the whole way up. Uh, so all I did was just take out that piece right there. Okay, let's go on to the, uh, let's see, we'll go on to this one right here. And now this is with the stand on it. And then what I'll do is this is how it looks, but then... Uh, again, you can see it sitting in place here. Now I can move it this way a good bit and leave it, leave the edge of it here and then leave it hang out way over here if I wanted to. And then that way I would still have plenty of room that this is high enough. This is about three inches from here to here, from the, from the table, uh, to the bottom of the, uh, monitor itself. And then, uh, this is just, uh, then, uh, actually the exact, uh, angle I would want to be able to draw on or do anything I want. And then if I show you the last one, this would be uh, what it would look like on the stand. Uh, and a, a more or less, uh, all I did was sandwich the two pictures together and put the uh, actual monitor at about 50% opacity. So you can see what the monitor would look like and how it's sitting on those boards. Uh, that it works really well. And the only thing I can say is again, it's just an option. But if you have the ability or if you know of somebody that can cut you uh, the wood, uh, the hot tip would be that any of these pieces right here, let's go to this one right here, any of these pieces back here, this one right here and this one right here, and then even the two side pieces, anytime you have two pieces together, that this piece right here and this piece right here, cut them at the same time. Stack them on top of each other and when you keep your lengths of your wood exactly the same uh it is very nice to build boxes and frames that's the same thing with this piece here and this piece down here i just sandwiched them together and cut both of them to length at the same time and then everything goes together really nice and square uh, and the same thing with these right here these two here i cut them at the exact same time and then these two here and these here i cut those at the exact same time and everything went together fairly well and again, uh, for all I have invested in this thing, this thing is working very well for me, but it's not so much for the 22 HD because that one comes with a decent stand, but anything I'm looking at now, it seems like I have to buy the stand separate. And what I will do is just buy the monitor and throw it on top of this thing. And then that way, any monitor I get after that, or, or if I want to use change off to a different monitor for any reason, I could drop it right on top of this stand and not have to worry about it. Uh, but with that said, uh, just a thought I'd throw this out to you guys and, and uh, uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas for yourself. Uh, but again, uh, we're going to get back to work painting here. And as I always say, until we see you out in the field or back at the studio, thanks for watching.